Hey everyone, Desiree McKenzie here, owner of Bold World Experiences. As part of our virtual vacation this week where we're exploring Greece, today I'm going to show you how simple it is to make a Greek frappe at home. Now Greek frappes are these delicious cool coffee drinks, perfect for the warmer weather as we're heading into spring and summer. So even though we can't really get out and enjoy the weather right now while we're all homebound, we can still find these little things to enjoy like a good Greek frappe. So everyone on Facebook lately has been talking about these whipped coffee drinks, which are very similar to uh, what we're going to do today. But today we're gonna make some of the original whipped coffee, which is the Greek frappe. Now frappe like I'm using here is nothing like what you'd get from Starbucks or McDonald's or really anything that you can get at most restaurants and coffee houses right now, except sometimes maybe a Greek restaurant, you might see this on the menu. Now I grew up in uh, Florida near Turpin Springs, which is one of the largest Greek communities in the US. So front bays were a pretty familiar sight on the menu. But after moving out of Florida, I realized that these authentic Greek frappes are pretty hard to come by anywhere else. So this really is a very nostalgic drink for me. Now, a lot of times when we think of cuisines from old world countries as having these super ancient origins, the Greek frappe is actually a pretty new invention. And while it's made with instant coffee, that's actually a purposeful feature, not a shortcut. So even though we're going to use this co instant coffee by design for a Greek frappe, the first one was actually created by accident. In the 1950s, a Nescafe representative at an international trade fair in Thessaloniki, Greece, he wanted to make some coffee, but he couldn't find any hot water. So instead he mixed some of his Nescafe with cold water in a shaker. But to his surprise, this didn't create cold coffee drink at all, but this really rich, decadent coffee foam. So it was completely by accident that the Greek frappe uh, was invented, and now it's the national drink of Greece. So this is a great drink to try while we're quarantined because it only has a few ingredients and all of the ingredients are readily available. So now let's get started making our frappe, but first things first, I'm gonna wash my hands for 20 seconds. So to get started, let's talk about the ingredients and items we'll need. The two main ingredients in a Greek frappe are water and instant coffee, and we'll also be using crushed ice, sugar, milk, and a little something extra I like in mine. Now the recipe is fairly simple. It's equal parts water and instant coffee with sugar to taste and milk or water added at the end to top it off. Starting with the coffee, we're gonna use today Nescafe Classico instant coffee. This is the original. Well, Nescafe actually has a slightly different version of their instant coffee specifically for frappes. Today we're just going to be using the regular Classico version that you can get at any grocery store. But if you do ever want to try the Nescafe frappe product, it's available on Amazon. Um, I've used both and they taste pretty similar. Next is sugar. Now today I'm going to cheat a little bit here because it's easier for the video and I'm just going to use sugar packets. But a Greek frappe comes in three degrees of sweetness, sweet, medium sweetness, and no sugar. Today I'm gonna to use sugar, uh, two sugar packets here for about medium sweetness. I also have here a little pitcher of milk, any kind is fine. Today I'm using regular non-fat milk. There are some variations that use evaporated milk or sweetened condensed milk, but those are too rich, uh, a little too rich for me. I also have here some crushed ice, which is gonna kind of break up and melt as we shake our frappe. It's mainly being used to help blend the drink while we shake it up. And finally, I'm also gonna be adding a pinch of cocoa powder, just because I like chocolate, and I feel like it adds just a hint of richness to the drink. Um, just know this isn't part of the authentic recipe. Now, officially, frappes are made with a special shaker similar to a martini shaker, and if you have a martini shaker at home, you can use one. But I found a jar or a bottle with a lid works just as well for an easy home version. And then you have the added bonus of just using the jar as your drinking glass. So today I'll be using a small mason jar. I'm going to start with two tablespoons of Nescafe, and then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of cold water. I've already pre-measured the cold water, so I'm just gonna pour that in. All right, now I'm gonna add my two packets of sugar. 
the crushed ice. Ooh, got too big of a chip here. Just a little bit, you don't need a whole lot. And a little bit of my cocoa powder. And that's it. Now we're going to put the lid on and we're gonna shake. Probably good. Now let me open this up. All right, well it's sort of hard to see in here, but you can see that there's like a nice, thick, heavy coffee foam in here. It's not as rich as the whipped uh, coffees that you're seeing. Um, I probably didn't shake it quite enough. Next up, I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. I'm gonna pour it off to the side here so it doesn't crush my foam. You can also use water, but I just like for the milk. I'm just going to pour. And you can see how pretty this is with the coffee on the bottom and the foam on the top. So now all I need to do is add my reusable, uh, reusable straw and voila. There you have it. As authentic of a Greek frappe as you can get from someone who isn't Greek and isn't in Greece. But since we're on virtual vacation, this is virtually the next best thing. Now you wash your hands and try your hand at making your own Greek frappe. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay inside everyone. I'll see you next time. I'm Desiree, uh, and this has been a video by Bold World Experiences. I hope you enjoyed.